What's up everyone, happy new year. It is 2023 and it has been a while since I've made a video. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into it. Uh, this year I am starting a new account challenge. So I'm gonna start the year at $35,000 and I'm gonna see how much I could grow my account to. Now, what I usually did in the past is I grew my $35,000 account into 50,000 and then every time I grew it to 50,000, I would wire out 15,000 to pay myself a paycheck as you know, an effort of good faith or good work or good whatever it is. So I'm gonna do that same thing. So my goal this year is to grow my $35,000 account into a million dollars by the end of the year. Now, there's gonna be a couple rules that are associated with this account. I'm gonna have a max loss on the account. I'm gonna have a max size on the account. I'm gonna have auto liquidation on the account. And I'm just gonna show you guys what is possible to be done using a PDT account. Now, when I first started trading, um, I really, really, really found success when I grew that $30,000 into $50,000 because what usually ends up happening is the more money that I had in my day trading account, the more risk I was willing to take, the more confident I was willing to be. But as I was growing my account back in the day, I needed to have some money in the bank and I needed to have a paycheck and I needed to be able to put that money that I made aside in case of a rainy day or whatever may happen. So this year, starting today, I am now officially using a $35,000 account to day trade. I'll be posting my P&Ls every single day on Instagram, instagram.com slash myinvestingclub. And going forward on YouTube, I'm gonna start doing chart recap videos. So I asked you guys what you wanna see more of and the audience on YouTube wants to see more uh, videos of my annotated charts and me recapping it. So I traded a bunch of stocks today. So going forward, I'm going to have these videos of, you know, psychology, talking about trading, talking about everything. And I'm also going to be making videos on going over my charts, going over my entries, going over my exits so that we could kind of track this progress of this $35,000 account together. Now the broker that I'm using for this account is success trader. They have seven locate sources, the most locate sources on Wall Street. And as a short bias trader, I need to be using a broker that accommodates what I'm looking for. And for me, Success Trader is that broker that I am using. Now, I'm going to give you guys uh, all the parameters, all the risk parameters uh, later on in forward videos. But today was already a really solid day. I mean, I don't know if I could zoom into this thing, but uh, pretty much almost a $5,000 day on my first day. So my $35,000 account is almost at 40,000 already. And every time it gets to 50,000, I'm gonna wire out 15,000 and put that in my bank as a good job paycheck for doing all this hard work. So I'm excited. I wanna show you guys what's possible. I wanna show you guys, I wanna go back to my roots of trading. Um, you know, what I used to do is, you know, grow this $35,000 account into 50,000 and wire it out. But as I became more advanced and as I had more opportunities, I would let my accounts grow and grow and take advantage of really big opportunities with that. And now that I'm kind of don't really need to do that anymore or, you know, still, you know, I just want to show you guys what I can do, right? I just want to show you guys what I can do with a smaller account and, you know, starting an account with $500, starting an account with $1,000 is not really, it's really tough. It's really, really tough. But in day trading, you know, a $25,000 account is pretty much, you know, the PDT account. You need to have a PDT account, right? You know, there's some people that start with 10,000, that's great. Some people that start with 15,000, that's great. But to be a full-time day trader, to be day trading all day long, you need a $25,000 account. And the reason I did 35,000 is to give myself a little bit of a buffer, right? So that's that. I'll be posting the P&Ls, I'll be posting the progress. You guys could watch the progress. Maybe every month we'll do a review on my broker statements. But yeah, going forward this year, $35,000 account starting today. So let's talk about trading today. So today was a crazy day. Um, we had a lot of runners. VVOS was the main runner that I was trading today. I'm up pretty decent on it so far. Still actually trading right now, recording this video at uh, 12 o'clock market time. So a couple things happened. Let's first talk about KALA's buy-in, right? So today KALA was on buy-in. So what that means is after T plus two, after the first day that you trade a stock and you are shorting it, you have two days after to cover that stock. 
If you do not cover that stock within two days and the broker cannot find a borrow, they will buy you in. What that means is they will just slowly put your order into an algo that buys you in throughout the day. Now, knowing that a stock is on buy-ins is very, very important for short sellers because that tells me that I should not be trading that stock today because there's gonna be elevated demand from all the shorts that are forced to cover today. So going forward, when I see a stock that's a low float that is on buy-ins, I'm gonna look to go long. So KALA this morning opened up at $31. It is currently trading at $50. Stock is up 60% on buy-ins. So all the shorts that held overnight that are being forced to buy, buy in is pushing the stock higher plus momentum traders coming in and buying in the stock. So buy-ins for a stock are very, very bullish. And the broker usually has a list of buy-ins. So at MIC, we find out which brokers are buying in which stocks and that's an opportunity to go long. So that's number one. Number two is yesterday, we had a massive, massive runner on JSPR. This stock went from 70 cents to $4. Massive, massive move and collapsed today. So I actually shorted that today around 260 and I got out around 220 or 210 and made a pretty decent amount of money on that today. It was backside of the move. Now, what ends up happening on these stocks is when a crazy stock moves like JSPR on day one that goes from 70 cents to $4, the next day, traders are looking for that next stock. What is the next JSPR? What is the next runner? What's the next hot stock? And oftentimes that next stock, that next runner that is hyped up, does not live up to what the primary stock was. So JSPR went from you know 70 cents to $4. So today everyone was looking for the next 70 cent stock to go to four, five, six dollars And that's where VVOS came in. So VVOS was a stock that was 70 cents, that pushed all the way up to $3. And now as I'm recording this, it's at you know, $2.15 and I think uh, by the end of the day, it should be around 150 or 180, right? Because what ends up happening is the next runner, the next pump is never as strong as the initial one. So the next runner that gets pumped tomorrow as the next JSPR is already gonna be the third one or the fourth one that ran, which means that it's probably not gonna move as aggressively. As each day passes, the runners become less and less violent if they are being compared to the first initial runner, right? So small caps are hot. Uh, there's plenty of momentum in the market. We're making a pretty decent amount of money trading right now. And yeah, so hopefully, I hope we have a new penny stock tomorrow that's gonna be pumped again as the next JSPR that goes you know, from 70 cents to $2 and then collapse all the way back down. But today was a really solid day because we avoided KALA because of buy-ins. We did not short it, did not want to short that because of buy-ins and it went straight up. Now we're gonna be implementing that strategy to go long. JSPR was a day two stock, pushed up on day one, tanked on day two. We shorted the bounce on day two, made money, and VVOS was being pumped as the next JSPR, but oftentimes these stocks, as each day passes, they are not as strong as the previous day. So solid trading today, really, really happy. 2023 is starting out on a good front, and I am excited to grow this $35,000 account into a million dollars by the end of the year and I'm gonna be documenting the entire journey. So more videos like this coming, more trade recap videos coming, and also leave me a comment of what other additional videos that you wanna see. We could do monthly recaps, we could go into the trade review stats, you guys tell me what content you wanna see, and I will show you what is possible with growing this $35,000 account. So thank you everyone, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and let me know exactly what you wanna see from me, thanks.